All right, the election of 1828, the rematch between Jackson and Adams. Um, we're gonna be adding a little bit of writing around here, so not only write the information that I give you, but please make sure you add in the information that I add as well. Um, so the election of 1828 was one of the nastiest elections that we have on record, uh, up until probably the most current election between um, President Trump and uh, Secretary Clinton. Now, the election of 1828 was between John Adams and our incumbent, which, which means he's our sitting president, and he represented, um, they kind of switched the party names again uh, from Whig to National Republican, and so he became um, the president of the National Republican Party, or the old Federalist Party, and he was taking on Andrew Jackson, who was out for revenge and represented the Democratic Party, the Democratic Republicans, or modern-day Democrats. Now, um, what's going to happen is we're going to have this thing called mud slinging. And in mud slinging, you're going to see um, people are going to say nasty things. And usually it's about what you stand for. Um, mostly about decisions you've made, about decisions or policies. About decisions or policies that you stood for and made in your time in office. However, what happens here is Adams begins it. Jackson kind of helps in there too, but Adams begins talking about Jackson's family. Once that happens, it really opens up everything and um, we will watch a video that kind of shows you a little bit of information about it. It's one thing to talk about what people stand for, but once you start bringing in their families, it takes a whole different view. And so there's a lot of controversy around this election. Um, what ends up happening though is Adams really destroys any of his opportunities to win because so much of America really did like Jackson and really disliked Adams from the previous election when he uh, won through the corrupt bargain. So what happens is Jackson wins in a landslide. Why? Because overall, people really liked him better. And then once you start talking about people insulting their family, it really snowballs and gives you less of a chance to win. This election is significant because it introduced this to um, American politics, and it has taken over, um, as we saw during this past election, uh, that it can get very ugly. We had slogans, and one of the slogans um, that we kind of made up wasn't the exact slogan during this time, but you would have slogans for your candidates, like Hickory Dickory Dock, Jackson's leadership will be solid as a rock. You know, these things to try to get people in saying it uh, because it sticks in your mind and people will always remember it. We had lots of, pe of these rallies. Uh, Jackson was really famous for being able to get people to show up to these rallies. Um, it was the first time he saw buttons for your candidate and barbecues, anything to bring the common man out to vote and to enjoy anything to do with your uh, election. So the election of 1828, pretty much just a foregone conclusion that Jackson was going to win.